Hello there, this is Pierre Yeo with Heart of Clean and I'm very quickly going to help you solve a big coffee problem on your carpet. So what can happen is the usual, oh my word, I spilled some coffee on the carpet. What am I going to do? Well, what everybody do, let's run to the kitchen, open the cupboard doors and there's a variety of stuff in there and we'll try everything. I want to stop you there. That's the wrong way of doing it. So what you want to do, go get yourself a nice cotton towel and what you want to do is weigh that down onto the stain. Give it a little bit of that, weigh it down, and you want to absorb that stain and the liquid into the cotton towel. By just weighing it down, you will notice, look at that, I have absorbed quite a lot of that coffee and it already looks much better. So I'll turn it around and I'll do it the other way around. I'll soak that up first. Notice what I'm doing, I'm weighing down on it. I am not scrubbing it like this. You can see by just that little bit I've done, I did start and upset the pile a little bit there. If you look closer, if we are gonna start scrubbing at it like that, look what happens, it fluffs up quite a little bit there. You notice if I do that, look there, the carpet is not happy. Not a happy carpet, do not use a brush like this. You can see that carpet is not happy. So keep going. Just soak up what you can and as soon as you get to the point where you don't get any more up that's the point where you want to go and find yourself the appropriate cleaner my advice is if you go to the supermarket and get something off there look out for the wool safe logo on the products that means that it is approved by wool safe for the use on wool carpets and it would be equally safe to use on synthetic carpets Otherwise, we do a spot cleaner, which we've had brilliant reviews for. And uh, this spot cleaner is used for general stain removal. I do advise do a little spot test first before you use it on the stain. And what I would advise now you do is look at your stain and you want to get some of this cleaner onto the stain. You spray that on the affected area and you repeat the blotting process as earlier. So notice I have now sprayed that onto the stain area. And I will now use my cotton towel. Now this one has got quite a bit of coffee, but we'll keep going. Dab as much of the stain out of the carpet. Notice what I'm doing. I'm dabbing it. I am not scrubbing it. Dabbing that, and what I'll do is I'll put that aside, get myself a clean towel, and I'll do that one more time. Spray this cleaner onto the carpet. And then what we'll do is dab again that and transfer that stain onto the carpet. Now we'll repeat that process several times and we will get some more of that out. Now, at this point, we have now cleaned it a few times. We don't need to remove any more. We want this to dry. Little tip for you. Many times the carpet will look great. We'll leave it to dry. Tomorrow it doesn't look that great because what has happened is that stain is soaked up to the tips of the fibers it's what we call wick back, wick to the surface and it looks really ugly. Here's a little secret. What you want to do, get yourself a kitchen towel or a cotton towel, preferably a clean white one. Lay it over this damp carpet we have now done a stain removal on. Get yourself a bin liner. This is only a plastic barrier so that the moisture moves through. Don't go into the top what we are placing on the top. And you want to lay this down with a nice heavy book. Place that on top, leave it there till tomorrow. The following day, you can lift your book off, lift your plastic layer off, lift your towel off, and the stain would have transferred into the towel. So that's my tip for you today on how to remove a stain without damaging your carpet and make your carpet last much longer. I'll see you next Wednesday again. Thank you.